Hello aspiring photographers, welcome to Shutter Symphony where we dive deep into the art of photography. Today we'll explore the magic of composition, the mastery of light and exposure, and the artistry of editing and post-processing. We'll uncover tips, tricks, and techniques to elevate your photography skills and help you capture moments that tell compelling stories. So grab your camera and let's embark on this enlightening journey together. Let the symphony of shutters begin. First, let's explore the magic of the rule of thirds. It's a timeless principle borrowed from the art world that can add a dynamic balance to your photographs. Picture a tic-tac-toe grid over your viewfinder or screen. The idea is to place your subject or key elements along these lines or at their intersections. Why does this work? Well, it's all about guiding the viewer's eye and creating tension and interest. When your subject is dead center, it can feel static. But place it off to the side, and suddenly, there's room for movement, for a story to unfold. Consider a landscape shot, for example. Instead of splitting your frame in half with the horizon, try aligning it with one of the horizontal lines. Or for a portrait, try placing the person's eyes at an intersection point. So next time you're framing a shot, don't just aim and shoot. Pause, compose, and let the rule of thirds work its magic. Keep the rule of thirds in your mind next time you're framing a shot. Next, we'll dive into the world of leading lines and dynamic angles. This is where the magic happens. Leading lines are a powerful tool in photography, drawing the viewer's eye through the image, creating depth and directing focus towards a certain point. They can be found everywhere, in roads, fences, shadows, and even the horizon. Now let's talk dynamic angles. They bring a sense of excitement and intrigue to your photos. Shooting from a high angle can make your subject look smaller or vulnerable, while a low angle can make it appear larger, more powerful. Try to experiment with different perspectives, it will add a touch of creativity to your shots. And here's a pro tip. Combine leading lines and dynamic angles. It can create a compelling visual journey that guides the eye through your image, adding a whole new level of sophistication to your work. Look for natural lines around you and use them to your advantage. Let's now talk about symmetry and patterns in photography. Symmetry contributes to a sense of harmony and balance in a photograph, while patterns can add rhythm and movement to your shots. You see, symmetry doesn't always have to be perfect. Even a hint of symmetry can be enough to create a visually pleasing image. It's all about finding balance and harmony in your composition. Patterns, on the other hand, are all around us. They exist in the natural world and in man-made structures. The repetitive elements in patterns can create a sense of unity and consistency in your photos. To capture beautiful patterns, you need a keen eye for detail. Look for patterns in shadows, reflections, and textures. Remember, when photographing symmetry and patterns, try to fill the frame to emphasize these elements. Experiment with different angles and perspectives to bring out the best in your scene. Symmetry and patterns can turn an ordinary scene into an extraordinary photo. Now let's explore the magic of the golden hour. This enchanting period happens twice a day, just after sunrise and just before sunset. The sun is low in the sky casting a warm soft light that photographers dream about, the Golden Hour is known for its ability to add a magical touch to your photos, creating a dreamy ambiance that simply can't be replicated. So, how can you best capture this golden glow? Timing is everything. Be prepared and in position before the Golden Hour starts. Use a Sun Tracker app to know exactly when the Golden Hour will occur. The low angle of the sun creates long, dramatic shadows, adding depth and dimension to your shots. Use this to your advantage. Play with perspectives and angles to create mesmerizing silhouettes and reflections. Remember the golden hour doesn't last long so make every minute count. Make the most of the golden hour and watch your photos transform. Next, we'll break down the concept of aperture. Think of aperture as the eye of your camera. Just as your pupil expands or contracts to control the amount of light entering your eye, the aperture of your camera does the same. The wider the aperture the more light it lets in, and the shallower the depth of field. Conversely, a narrower aperture lets in less light but gives you a deeper depth of field. Now, let's do a practical exercise. Set your camera to aperture priority mode. Start with the lowest F number, your widest aperture. Notice how the background becomes blurred, creating a bokeh effect. Now gradually increase the F number to narrow your aperture. Observe how more of the scene comes into focus. It's a balancing act, really a wider aperture for portraits, a narrower one for landscapes. It's all about what you want in focus. Remember, mastering aperture is key to controlling your depth of field. Let's now dive into techniques for low-light photography. 
Often, photographers shy away from low-light scenarios, but these conditions can produce some of the most stunning images. It's all about understanding your camera's capabilities and playing with its settings. One of the most important settings to master is ISO. Increasing your ISO will make your camera more sensitive to light, but remember, a higher ISO can also introduce more noise or grain into your image. Shutter speed is another crucial aspect of low-light photography. Slower shutter speeds allow more light to hit the sensor, capturing more detail in darker environments. But beware of camera shake or motion blur if your shutter speed is too slow. Finally, consider using a wider aperture. This allows more light into your camera and can help create beautifully blurred backgrounds or bokeh in your low-light images. With these techniques, you can turn low-light conditions into your playground. Now let's introduce some essential editing techniques. The magic of photography doesn't end when you press the shutter button. It's only just beginning. Behind every stunning photo is a well-thought-out editing process that heightens the beauty of the raw image. One fundamental technique is cropping. This allows you to eliminate unnecessary elements, focus on your subject, and enhance your composition. Next, consider adjusting the exposure. This can bring out hidden details in the shadows or tone down overly bright areas. Color correction is another crucial step. By tweaking the temperature, tint, saturation, and vibrance, you can infuse your photos with the desired mood and atmosphere. Lastly, don't shy away from playing with filters and effects. A subtle vignette or a touch of grain can add a vintage feel, while sharpening can make your details pop. Remember, editing is all about enhancing the story your photo tells, not changing it. With these editing techniques, you can take your photos from raw to wow. Next, we'll explore the art of color grading. This is where the symphony of shutters meets the harmony of hues. Color grading is an essential step in post-processing where we adjust the colors in our images to create a specific mood or atmosphere. It's like painting with light, adding layers of emotion to our visual stories. Imagine a warm sunset photo with hues of orange and red, it provides a sense of tranquility and warmth. Now, envision the same scene with a colder color palette of blues and purples. Suddenly, the scene becomes mysterious, perhaps even melancholic. The role of color in storytelling cannot be overstated. It's a powerful tool that can subtly guide the viewer's emotional response. You can make a scene look dreamy, dramatic, eerie, or joyful, all with the twist of a color wheel. So whether you're capturing a serene sunrise or a bustling cityscape, remember that color grading can greatly enhance the mood and feel of your photos. Finally, let's touch upon creative photo manipulation techniques. This realm of photography transforms the ordinary into the extraordinary. It's where reality and imagination blend, giving birth to stunning visuals that captivate the viewer. Now, photo manipulation isn't about deceiving the eye, but rather, it's about expressing your unique artistic vision. It's a playground for your creativity, where the only limit is your imagination. So how do we begin? Start by exploring the myriad of tools and effects available in your editing software. Layering multiple images, tweaking color levels, and applying filters are just a few ways to manipulate your photos. Remember, it's all about trial and error. Don't be discouraged if you don't get it right the first time. Every experiment brings you one step closer to creating a masterpiece. And above all, have fun with it. Let your creativity run wild and watch as your photos transform into works of art. Don't be afraid to experiment and express your artistic vision. Well, that's it for today's photography masterclass. We've covered composition, light and exposure, and editing. Now it's your turn to put these skills into practice. Share your experiences, ask questions, we're here to help. Don't forget to subscribe for more Shutter Symphony episodes. Until next time, keep shooting and experimenting.